the front end of their square here. Minch is about 20 metres off the front end of the square. Well, Rose versus Barnes, not a decisive hit out. Creswell's there, a quick kick to half forward. No mark, Hinkley playing in front, onto the left foot, brings it to the half foot line, Brunton at the back, gets it to ground, couch. Out to Gary Hocking, trying to break the tackle, but gets in a hand pass, taken away by Mooney. Mooney a quick kick, but straight to Stephen Hocking. Stephen Hocking rebounds it quickly onto Riccardi. Riccardi will go for the long one. He's looking down here for Applet who waits at the back. He races back after it, can't grab it. Waters with that. Applet off the ground. Oh, has just missed. One behind. Gary Applet has kicked nine. There he is. Nine goals, five. And the girls that were interviewed have tipped him for 15. Oh, there's rotten luck. Oh, don't tell me another calf, calf muscle injury. injury. So many AFL footballs at the moment with bad calf injuries. They kick in by kick it, and they can ill afford to have Bays off the ground. Dean McRae nearly loses his stride. He lost part of them, or...? He was taken over the boundary line, so we'll have a throw in. Shane Brewer, the speedster. Sunny part of the ground for the throw-in. Rose and Barnes. Rose, Rose higher to Pickering. Barnes. Ablett with kick it. Could have been interference by Ablett. Yes, free kick to kick it. No score for that one. Gary Ablett, nine goals, five. And nearly 19 minutes to build on it. Quiet day for Derek Kickett, who played 50 consecutive games for Essendon before being left out of a grand final side. <laughs> this is... Now, Bay's off the ground. Neil Cordy. Yes, uh, Mark Bay's is off, as you correctly called, with a calf injury. It's not too serious, and he's just getting it uh, iced as a precautionary measure. Well, here's Jason Daniels, who keeps battling his heart out. Week in and week out, Jason Daniels. And doesn't ever give up. Now, here's Pickering. Gets it to Minch. Here's Ablett. Ah, oh, look at that kick from David Minch. Beautiful football. Yes, it was well done by the big fellow. Combining well then Geelong. It was Pickering that got across to Minch. Well, we said that Gary Ablett's kicked uh, nine. Ten sounds a lot better. And he's kicking from 35 metres directly in front. He stabs at this. And that is a goal. 10 to Ablett. There was no signs of that back injury. He crashed heavily to the turf, turf last week at the MCG after taking that one-hander in the last quarter. Contested the next time the ball came down, but then was helped from the ground. And there was some doubt as to whether he'd play. But he's now showed no signs of that injury. He's moved very, very well. Mark Bay is looking dejected there on the bench. Ten goals for Gary Ablett. I make it the 11th time in his career he's kicked double figures. Rose wins again to Creswell. A high ball. Smith jostling. Might have a chance here. But they get back in numbers. Darcy does well to Hinkley. Pickering. He comes inside to Brewer. Had to wait for it. Waters the tackler holding the ball against Brewer. Free kick to Waters. Pops it high. Lewis. Oh, good hand pass from Lewis to McRae. Good running from 50 metres. McRae blasts away, but he did earlier in the game. Don kick, kick one of the great game, goals of the game. In the second quarter, it was Peter going that way, actually. Well, I said earlier, he's been a fine player this year, Dean McRae. Been a, a little quieter today, Stephen O'Reilly to the half back line. Rose battling hard. There's Hickmott and Dale Lewis, and it will be a bounce. The Swans coming into this game, last position on the ladder with a record of one win and five losses. Geelong coming into this round in eighth position, three and three. A real log jams, log jam of teams in the middle of the uh, field. Three wins and three losses. Geelong, one of them. So they'll have a chance to step forward today. 
Barnes to Steve Hocking. Good run supplied by Hinkley. Not a great kick. Very wide. Mensch outside the 50. Cornered by Mooney. Kick goes about 10 metres, that's all. Daniels traps it. Oh, crash! Mensch with a tackle there. Ferocious. Dunkley goes towards the boundary line. It's not out. Hickmott. 55 metres out. Hoists it high for Ablett. One out with kick it. It's a free kick to Ablett right in front. Well, that was interesting. I was watching that contest. Derek Kickett had front position, then surrendered it. Hence the free kick. He was endeavouring to get back into front position. He can't do it. He would have been well, better to hold that front position initially. Well, he's holding. He is holding Ablett. Well, he is, but he's trying to get back to that front position. Well, that's the strength of Ablett, isn't well, it? Well, that's right. He should have maintained his position in the kick it. For goal number 11. Well, he's only now two behind Doug Wade as the all-time record holder against the Sydney Swans. And here's the free kick. Ablett, you can see there, being held. It's really quite blatant by kick it, and the umpire right on the spot to pay that. Well, the strength of Ablett. Goal. Oh. Well, Michael Willisy looking on. He'd have to admire Ablett, but he wouldn't be too happy at the scoreboard. 19-13 to 8-15 as Barnes gets in. How many is Ablett going to kick? He's kicked 11. We had Lockett last week winning the game off his own boot with 11. Here's a free kick to the Swans. Dean McRae. Philandia, oh, getting himself into trouble, but comes back to Neil Brunton. Brunton transfers play. Wills in the van. There's two Swans players, though. Higgins is one. Leon Higgins looking for hand pass. Well Very done, too Wills. slow to get rid of it. Hickmott was good play by Wills. Hickmott, a clever little kick to Couch. Oh, where's Ablett on this? Ablett calling for it long, but he elects to chip it in short. Good defensive play. That was uh, Mooney. And eventually Wade Chapman to centre wing. Thumped away by McGrath with disciplined play. Here's the racehorse. Little Jamie Lawson to the half forward line. Barnes waits for it. He's got it and gives it to Hinkley. Hinkley at halfback, into O'Reilly. Dodgers, Minton, Connell, Easley. And look at the space out here for Steve Hocking. 40 metres in the clear. Brewer offers a lead in short, centre circle, takes the mark. Well, you'd like Ablett's chances of improving on 11. McGrath marks, hits the ground running from Lawson, thumps it long. Ablett with a run at them. We well, interfered with kick it. It comes to the front. The umpire was going to pay that, actually. He had his hand, his whistle to his mouth. Scott back to Couch, snapped by Couch. Wills, well for once he hasn't taken the mark. Should have gobbled that one and he knows it. The ball out of play. Sydney Swans runner going out to Derek Kickett. Maybe a change is going to be made. Kickett going off Ablett. I think uh, Duckley's back on there. Oh, Ablett grabbing. Ablett! Oh, yes! 12 goals! Unbelievable performance by this great player. 12 goals. How many is he going to kick? Duckley back on him. Geelong, 20 goals. They've kicked 20 goals, 13 to 8, 15. Look at this. 12 goals, 5 to Gary Ablett. A good effort from the ruck. That way, kicked 13 goals, 7 against the Swans. Duckley would be saying, why me? Rose and Barnes. Barnes, Gary Hocking, they're out of the middle again. Brewer, a high ball. Ablett! Uh, now, what about the free kick? Surely that's against Minch. He was shepherding, he took Mooney out of it. Well, they only had. Well, Gary Ablett's only done better than this twice when he kicked 14 against Richmond in 89 and Essendon last year. Oh, it nearly misses. It's close. A goal. That's 13 for Gary Adler. Well, Mench really did lay a heavy bump on Dunkley. But Ablett, good chest mark and his goal. 
Well, 13 goals for the champ. He's got 13 minutes. The league record is 18 goals, so he has to kick five goals in 13 minutes. But Geelong have got the game won. Look at the disconsolate-looking Ron Barassi. He can't do anything about the, this. Here they go again. Gary Hocking can't get his boot to it. The Swans through Creswell. Fred Fanning holds the league record at 18. Oh, here they go. Where's Ablett? The kick falls short. Hickmott on the left foot, up in the air. Ablett races back with the flight. Oh, free kick, Ablett. Oh, yes. He's going to kick his 14th here. Now, what, why was the free kick He there? was grabbed around the neck. He had his head ripped off. It was a definite free kick, Don. Well, I was interested in Dunkley coming over the top. Well, goal number 14, maybe, from 15 metres. Even the Swan supporters have come to life. What's this? Oh, oh, oh knee more, in the head. There's Looney coming over the top. So Gary Ablett, 19, kicks 11 marks. Well, goal number 14, is it? He stabs. Yes! And Pete, that's five goals in 11 minutes in this quarter for Gary Ablett off his own boot. Well, I would say the league record is at risk here. 12 and a half minutes if they decide to feed him. Now, what's him copped in the head here? Oh, boy. A knee in the head. That is a free kick. 14 goals. Four to go. To equal the record. We're back in the middle. Gee, the Swans need to get it out of the middle, but they haven't. Brewer sweeps a hand pass oh, to Riccardi, hand pass. and Ablett's licking his chops again. Riccardi off the left boot, very high. Ablett, one out in the middle of the pack, though. They got back to double-team him. And now the umpire will ball it up. Well, you can sense the excitement of the crowd. Even died in the wool Swans fans realise they might be watching something absolutely special here. Well, he's got the time. That's it. I'd get the forward line open if I was Malcolm Blight and kick it to him, everything to him. 12 minutes remaining in the game. The game's won. He's won out back in the square with Dunkley. Forsman, out of bounds. Well, will we see history being made here? Drew, you were hoping for it last year when he kicked five in the first term. Yes, I was dismayed that he was goalless <laughs> in the second and third and kicked two in the last for seven for the game. Well... That's Jason Daniels bringing it to the half-back line, the big fist away. Hickmott, Minch, in towards half-forward for the Cats. It's crowded down there. Wills goes to ground. Eventually it's forced back towards the line. Minch, Philandia, drag. Was it high? Yes. So it'll be a free kick. And it might be 50. 50, 50 metres. It could be 50 metres. Yes, it is. Well, the graph on Gary Ablett today, one goal in the first quarter, six in the second, Two in the third and five so far in the last. Who's getting your votes, Don? 14 for the game for Gary Ablett. And that's three times in his career he's kicked 14 against Richmond at the MCG in 89. And who'll ever forget against Essendon at the MCG last year in a losing side. And I wonder if Don Scott will still find a ruckman to be best on ground, Drew. <laughs> oh, you're cruel. Here's Waters away to Lewis. The hand pass back to centre wing. Ball in dispute here for Landia did all right. Concede some ground to Higgins. Kick by Higgins to centre half forward. Kick it on the forward line. Missed that one totally. Darcy going for another sprint. Derek kick it giving chase. Tim Darcy. It sits up. Oh, well done by Luff. He blocked it. Well done. Kick it. And a ball up out of nothing for the Swans at centre wing. Yes, well done. Even though they're well and truly beaten, they tried hard then, the Swans. Wasn't Luff, it was Shane Smith, came all the way. Well, he tries hard, Smith. My word, he does. Kid. Got a bit of enthusiasm. So, Gavin Rose versus Barnes has been a good battle. Pickering. The half forward or the Swans players waited for it. Hits the deck. Strong tackle. Too high. So, a kick there, and it will be taken by Neil Brunton, who has not stopped trying all day. He's had the job on couch. Now, the chip pass is by Creswell to Rose. Ten minutes of play left. Darcy at the back, fist at the ground. Dale Lewis caught. Taken away by Kenny Hinkley. He's trying to break the tackle. Couldn't do so, but still he's got backup support from Mansfield. Mansfield can give it back. 
Tim Darcy doing a lot of running and enjoying it. Gary Hocking. Hand pass wide. Always oh, shouldn't have waited for that O'Reilly. Could have taken that on the full. But he ends up with the ball onto the left foot. Down towards Ablett. Territory. Ablett. Taken away by Higgins. And Higgins finds Kepler. Oh, Philandia with one hand went without it. Kepler goes wide. Creswell. His kick to centre wing. There's Smith well up the ground with O'Reilly. They both go to ground. Riccardi a scoop and then knocked off the ball when he didn't have it. Free kick, Peter Riccardi. He's quick. Mansfield. Nine minutes left. Gary Ablett has 14 goals. The Cats have 22. Oh, great well done, mark. Wills. Wills. He starred from the start. Mench. Back in. Forsman. Does he kick it himself or look for Ablett? He goes for the goal himself and pops it through. And it must be said, he did have time to wait a fair while to make his decision. Well, the Sydney Swans players realise the game is over. And Geelong just coming to this forward line in numbers. Should have waited there, Wills. It was a great mark, a good effort. And Forsman, plenty of time to do what he wanted with that ball. Geelong's 23rd. The Cats starting to rub it in as Forsman kicks a goal. Well played by Minton Connell. A 30 metre punch. Here's Lawson. Oh, he's quick. Hooking it around his body. Bombs away and has kicked only a behind. Stephen O'Reilly to bring it back into play. There's the little rover. They've copped a hiding today. I really think the stuffing was knocked out of Sydney last week by St Kilda with that last quarter comeback. And they haven't recovered from that, Sydney. And Geelong have been very, very good. They're a good side when they're on fire, Geelong. Here's Forsman. He looks so casual. Onto the left foot to half forward. Hickmott was there. It's a loose ball. Brutton dives on it. Now he hooks it out. Kelly is there. McRae. Waters. And finally, Wade Chapman. Kick by Chapman, not great. The hand pass comes back from Smith to McRae, who has a look at the goals and goes whack! Doesn't quite make the distance. And on the line, the mark taken by Mansfield. And now the catch rebounding around the outer side. McGrath, a lead by Riccardi, who dashes away from Kapler. Peter Riccardi, forward of centre wing. Ooh, he took a step. He gets around Kapler. Ablett wants it high. Riccardi off the left boot. Ablett's there. And a good mark taken by Rose, who, uh, Daniels, who got back. We've got seven and a half minutes remaining. 23-13 Geelong, eight goals, 16 Sydney. And Sydney's score is a far cry from last week when they kicked 17 goals, seven, to get pipped by a point. Today, 8-16. Here's Lewis at half forward. Well, still virtually at half forward is Minton Connell. Simon Minton Connell. Long way out. 52 metres, he'll have to kick this ball. He should be moving it quickly. Well, it looks like he's going to have a shot. He may be looking for uh, the short one, but taking too long over it. He is taking far too long, Peter. They've got numbers back in the square. Smith and O'Reilly, or Darcy. We're in the square for quite a while, but O'Reilly is now back to contest. It was just too long. It's a long kick. It won't quite make the distance, and that's a mark. And it's taken by Kenny Hinkley, who is very, very strong overhead. Now they work it out through O'Reilly. Be a bit of an anti-climax if uh, Gary Ablett has his 14 with about 15 minutes to go and doesn't get any more. Here's Philandia, but the free kick to Geelong. At 50. You've got to hand it back to the opponent on the full. Adrian Hickmott. So he comes up towards half forward and within kicking distance of Ablett. I'll tell you what, they're not giving Ablett much room, the Geelong players. Ablett leading. This is him. Or just drops short. And a courageous mark was taken there by Brunton. He gets it back from Philandia. Kicked by Brunton towards the outer wing. Punched down by Steve Hocking to Hickmott. O'Reilly off for, uh, for Geelong and Colbert coming on. Going down back Colbert. Well done by Kelly to set this up. Minton Connell 60 metres out. Short pass. Lewis. Now so far in the last quarter, Sydney have kicked just one behind. 
while Geelong have kicked six goals one. And of those six, Ablett has kicked five goals one. So it really has been Ablett versus the Swans. Can Dale Lewis, with his 14th kick, get his third goal? First for the turn for the Swans. <coughs> Offline, a behind. Lewis today, two goals, four. Well, five minutes of play left, 8.17 to 23.13. They've been outclassed, Sydney. And he sees it. Stephen O'Reilly getting some treatment there. Oh, there's a free kick. There's a vantage paid. No, well, it's why wasn't the advantage paid? Field. Uh, well, I think he might have been covered, the Geelong player, Whoa. eventually. And Dale Lewis being told to get out of the way. And he just ran across the mark, surely. So Michael Mansfield. <laughs> so Mansfield might eventually kick this. Now he's chipping it in. He's looking for Tim Darcy and he's found him at halfback. He really wanted to run off. Darcy. He's having a good game. And he brings it in now to Barnes. Barnes in the centre of the ground. Now, oh, bad hand pass from Barnes. Very casual. Lawson, they won't catch him. Look at him go. Two bounces. Keep going, son. He should run round Barnes here. No, he elects to chip it in to uh, Dale Lewis. So you can centre it here, Lewis. Oh, good kick. Mitten Conlon, open goal coming up. Slams it goal. And goal. Simon Minton Connell has kicked his second. Good play by Lawson and Lewis. Nine goals to Sydney. Well, they've added some respectability to their score, Sydney. A good dash by Lawson. It's about the only highlight for Sydney in this quarter. And Lewis finding Minton Connell. Back in the middle with four and a quarter minutes left. 80-point lead to the Cats. After the goal by Minton Connell. Oh, hocking beautifully to Riccardi. And away to Pickering. Ablett leading again. This is a chance. No, the spoil from behind by Dunkley. Couch gets a run from Brewer, and Brewer gets the goal. Shane Brewer, his second today. Very impressive player, Brewer. Very well-balanced player. Delivers the ball so well, playing around midfield. Here he is going to run onto this ball. Abbott contesting. The ball comes out wide. Couch. Polished performer, Brewer, and improving. Ablett stranded on 14 goals, and that will leave your record in tank, Pete. You kicked 16, so you haven't let him get ahead of you. Well done. Well, we go back to the centre. It's almost an anti-climax because... Really looked as though he might uh, press Fred Fanning's record. Preswell. Actually, your 16 Waters. came against South Melbourne too, didn't it? Did one day at Victoria Park, Don. Do you want to spend five minutes and tell us about it? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Modesty prevents me, Drew. <laughs> oh, After the telecast. <laughs> <laughs> Shane Smith in the plane on the way. <laughs> <laughs> back towards the boundary line and uh, puts it over. Do you think he can turn himself to the plane? <laughs> <laughs> so, Shane Smith, good build of a youngster. Don, you're the expert on bodies. Rose gets it down, taken by Riccardi. Now, Peter Riccardi to centre wing. Oh, oh good mark by Hickman. What a brilliant mark. They've got some talent, these Geelong players. Now, hand pass over oh. the top. Riccardi, he'll go with a long one. Where's Ablett? Now, it drops in short. And a good mark taken by Mitch. He's done well since half time. He started off on the bench. Yes, yeah, came on replacing Graham. Graham made a couple of mistakes. Ball looks like a cricket ball in this bloke's hands. So David Mitch from 40 metres. Not a bad looking kick, but just hit the post. And one behind only. Time clock ticking down, so Ablett might remain on 14. Now there's uh, Neil Brunton on the bench. He's uh, been a Real dogged, determined character today, and that's the way he plays his football. Robbie Neal kicks in towards the outer side. A bit of a wobble on that, and Hickmock takes another great mark. Gee, they want to move it on quickly. They do to Robert Scott. Pass in short to Forsman, and he's got it 35 metres from goal. 
Well, this one will be sailing over Ablett's head. Two and a half minutes to go. Ablett has 14 goals. They've had seven other goal kickers, though. Oh, oh another poster. Just looking at Darren Forsman. He looks a bit like uh, Jamie Morrissey that used to play with uh, Hawthorne. There he is. 24-15 to 9-17 as the little chip pass comes into Higgins. So Higgins at half back. It's a wide. He's looking out there for Rose or was it Mooney? It in fact was a Rose out there. The Swans bring it around the boundary line to the half forward line. Punched away by Hinkley over the line. So to under the two minutes now. Barnes versus Gavin Rose. Barnes wins it. And another free kick in those boundary throw-ins, and this time to Rose. Under two minutes left. The kick by Rose to full forward. Smith can't take the mark. Darcy punches away from Minton Connell. Hinkley to turf. And the ball out of play. Well, after a game like this, you just hope to get through the last couple of minutes with that uh, serious injury or a report or anything silly like that. And Ablett had his 14th with about 15 minutes to go, and he's still on 14. Hocking away to McGrath. To Steve Hocking. Well, just a cakewalk up the middle for the Cats. Oh, and good Hickmott, is he taking some marks in this last quarter? He's hurt himself, has he? Yes, doesn't look too good. Wills, a very high one. Ablett one out with Dunkley. Forsman roving. Riccardi there, but the knock-on went behind him. It's a whistle. Is it a free kick right in front to Riccardi? It is. Another goal of the Cats coming up. Now, Peter Riccardi hasn't scored a goal today. He's kicked two behinds. So he should become another goal scorer for the Cats. He's been a good player midfield or half forward, uh, Riccardi. And a blinding pace. A goal. And his first for the day. Kicked a point last week against Jill, uh, Collingwood, Peter Riccardi. Being picked up by uh, Darren Kapler. And this is the free kick just after this contest between Ablett and Dunkley. And there's Riccardi. You can see there the hand over the shoulder. So that's uh, eight goals in the last quarter to the Cats, five of which have come from Gary Ablett. Ablett 14 for the day. Well, this would please uh, Malcolm Blight, Drew, the fact that they're going on with it in the last term and not resting on their laurels, which Geelong tends to do at times. Nine goal kickers. So a big percentage boost this to the Cats, Paul Kelly to Dale Lewis from 51 metres. He's hooked this one. And, uh, well, it's still in play. No, it's still it's in play. Now Smith and the boundary umpire well, said it did cross the line. So it'll be a throw in near the behind post. There's Lee Colbert, a promising young player. Haven't seen much of him today. He spent a great deal of time on the bench. So Rose will do battle again. Hooks it down. Waters has been quiet. Here's Kelly. Hand pass on. Hinkley tries to sock it off the ground. Smith. Minton Connell. Taken away by Pickering. Riccardi with Kepler. Riccardi to ground. Oh, Gary Hockey. Yeah, well done. To Riccardi, and they're off and running again. Wills. 22 seconds left. Time for another one for Ablett yet. Centre of the ground. It bounces through to Mench. Mench looking for Ablett. Here it comes. No mark, but he's still a chance. Ten seconds left. He's lost control of it. Neil out of defence. That should be the last score of the game. It goes past Riccardi. It's up near centre wing. Philandia gets the hand pass back. Here's Chapman. And that's full time at the SCG. Gary Ablett shaking hands with this one and that one. Most of whom he's defeated today. Well, it wasn't all Dunkley's fault. And there's somebody out there for an autograph within 15 seconds of the game finishing, and he'll never forget that little moment.
that he got the great man's autograph the day he kicked 14 at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Three times in his career he's kicked 14. For a while there we thought the all-time record of 18 might go, but I'm glad I was here to see it.